Good day and welcome to a new unboxing and I haven't done an unboxing for a long time and today I'm going to do an unboxing of, you, you probably already know what it is because of the title but uh, today is actually December 5th which is also my birthday so yay I'm 19 by the way. The Kingdom Hearts 2 Collector's Edition was released, also just Kingdom Hearts 2.5. It is just 2.5. We're gonna do an unboxing of this because it, it's awesome and why not? Before I start actually, uh, this actually reminds me of the two final mix collector's edition which was only released in Japan and whatever. Yes, I'm annoyed about final mix being released in Japan and not here. Uh, but it reminds me of that and I still wanted that. I thought it was actually gonna be built like it so you can like pull the inside out and Anyway, I'm going to the unboxing. So here's a closer look of the uh, 2.5 box. It has Sora on the front. Here's, I'd beaten up the freaking tripod, I'm sorry. There's the front and the side, and the opposing side is exactly the same, more or less, apart from the PS. Oh no, the PS3 logo's on there as well. And the bottom just looks like that, it's nothing, and the top's nothing. And the back has a description of all the funky, the funky donkey stuff inside, so yay. And also, I'm not sure if everyone got this, but I haven't actually heard anyone talk about this. There's also a lithograph of Sauron Ventus, which came inside the box, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna get unboxing this, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna explain a thing. <laughs> I would have actually preferred this to have been in the kind of box that one final mix was in. Beggars can't be choosers and as such. Pull it up and there's a little pin that everyone, everyone complained about. If you say you didn't complain about it, you lie, you complained about it. So here's the pin of Sora and King Mickey. I'm not going to open that, only because I'm worried about breaking it. So I'm going to leave it in there. So yeah, here's the, the Heartless Plush which I was actually really, really excited to get. So I actually wanted one of these since the uh, London announcement thing of Kingdom Hearts 1.5. So about a year I've wanted one of these. So here is the Shadow Heartless, which looks awesome. Look at it. Let's put it there. It doesn't have any balance. No, there's the Shadow Plush. It looks really nice. It's all fuzzy and a bit weighty in the middle and his, his head's like huge. He's got little funny antennas. His eyes are made of uh, plasticky plastic. There's little stubby arms and legs. It looks awesome. I don't know why this is different, but the American release of this had a little slip cover kind of thing for. It, it was just kind of in the style of Jiminy's Journal. I don't know if Europe got it at all. But here's the art book. Like concept art and sketches and things so like Master Ericus, uh, Aqua, Terra, Ventus. So we've got all of the forms of uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2 which is awesome. Uh, there's all of the Organization 13. Ah uh, hey, Xehanort and Maleficent. The back is just concept sketches. Oh, wow, that is really cool. So finally is the game itself. What's awesome about this is it has art from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, there's these like puzzle pieces you collect and they form pictures and one of them is this, which is awesome. So they just took that and put it into a, a, a steel case, so that's awesome. Ah, boom! There we go. The Collector's Edition manual. Oh, it does actually say Collector's Edition, that's awesome. So. Uh, it's just a, a manual. 2.5 was released with, well the collector's edition was released with 1.5 and 2.5. I already have 1.5 but I really am not too bothered so yeah. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this. There's a box art of 1.5 and here's a box art of 2.5 which is pretty awesome. So yeah. I'm actually gonna play tons of this and uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday December 6th, I'm going to start doing a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So I, I'm actually really excited to do that because uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is like the one of the, in my opinion, one of the best games to ever be made. Uh, what is awesome is that Kingdom Hearts 2 has completely redone music, so that's interesting. Again, here's the book, the steel art book, the shadow plush, and the complain, bitch, and wine pin. Thanks for watching. 
and until next time and when I do my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2.5 bye